Just showing me his new comic book. Not just showing it, I was showing it off. I think it's the best one I've ever drawn. Can I see it? Sure. I like it, Dad. Worth showing off? Definitely. Speaking of showing off, there's Lionel. Sounds like you wrote a new song. I'll go check it out. Hey, little bro. Wanna hear the world's greatest guitarist play the world's greatest guitar riff? Sure. That's really cool, Lionel. I know. It's the coolest. Stanley! Come on and play! It's Marcy and Mimi. Be right there. I gotta go play with my friends, Lionel. And I gotta stay here and be great, Stan. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. Look, Stanley, look. I learned a new ballet step. That's really nice, Mimi. I'll do it again. Hi, Stanley. Look what I can do. A cartwheel! Everybody sure has a lot to show off today. I know. Watch me again. Hi, Stanley. Guess what? Don't tell me. You have something special to show off. How'd you know? Listen to this. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Lester. <laughs> It's mine! I made it up! I'm the only one who can do it! <laughs> Man. Hello, Stanley. Hello, Stanley! Hi. Why so glum, chum? Everyone has something special to show off today, except for me. No! Yes! Cartwheels, giggle hiccups, and even comics. <sighs> Why don't you come curl up with us? We don't have anything special to show off. Well, maybe some of us don't. Anyway, we promise not to show off if you don't want us to. Thanks, Elsie. You guys are really good friends. We know! We're the greatest! Sometimes I wish my people, friends, and my family could be more like you. Well, thanks for the compliment, Stanley, but I think your family and friends just wanted to share what they like to do. I know, but if they were animals instead of people, they wouldn't show off. Oh, so you think only people show off? Yeah. And animals don't? Right. Then I dare say you've never met a peacock. Nope. Peacocks are the biggest animal show-offs in the world. They're so showy, they even put on shows. In fact, why don't we catch the next performance? 
Yeah, all we need is... Uh... It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. <laughs> There's no way that could be called showing off now, could it? It's show off that what you request. The peacock is the best. You know what letter peacock starts with, don't you? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P for peacock. A peacock is a male of the species peafowl and is known to be the showiest of all the birds. Wow, he sure has a lot of beautiful feathers. And he's no featherweight when it comes to showing them off, either. Come on, Stanley, into the book. Let's head for India, where peacocks are so popular, they're the country's national bird. Five, four, three, two, one. India, here we come. Hi, peacocks. We're here for the show. We'll take two front row seats, please. And what's a peacock party without a little popcorn? I don't get it, Dennis. How come these birds don't look the same? Hmm. Well, they're all peafowl, but only one is a peacock. The other three are females, called peahens. Can you tell which bird is the peacock? It's the one that looks different. Is it this, 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 or this one? That's right. This bird is the peacock, the one with the bright, shiny feathers and very long tail. His feathers are really nice colors. I wish I had crayons like that. See how many colors you can name. Blue, green, purple. And don't forget greenish blue and, and bluish green and, and purplish greenish bluish. <laughs> Dennis, why is this hair all done up like that? That's called a crest. And to a peacock, it's all the rage. Watch out, Stanley. He's getting ready to start the show. But his feathers are down instead of up, like we saw in the book. Quite right, Stanley. But I think that's about to change. It's showtime! Oh, here comes the good part. Wow, his feathers made a big fan. How'd he do that? It's a special peacock trick. It's awesome. That's what the peacock is hoping the pea hen is thinking. His feathers look even bigger now than they did before. They're twice as tall as me. Dennis, don't look now. Okay, but don't look now where? Over there, at the peacock's feathers. They're staring at us with about a million eyes. Those aren't eyes, Stanley. They're eye spots. They're strictly for decoration. And the more eye spots a peacock has, the more exciting a peahen thinks he is. Then that peahen must like this peacock a lot. Judging from the way she's acting, I think she does. And that means the show was a success. You mean the peacock shows off so the peahen will like him? Exactly. He fans his feathers so she'll notice him and see how beautiful and exciting he is. It's his way of finding Miss Wright. I get it. So now I know why peacocks show off. They still don't know why people do. Well, Stanley, people like to be noticed, too. It makes them feel important and special. I guess. And since people don't have feathers, they show off other things, like their special talents. You mean like drawing and playing music? And dancing? And doing cartwheels? And Lester's special giggle hiccup? Yes, I do believe even giggle hiccups qualify. Everyone has something special to show off. Except me. Well, let's think about that. 
What special talent do you have that you might show off, Stanley? Can't sing. I can't drive. I'm too young to be an astronaut. Oh, I got it! I know a lot about animals. You most certainly do. And now I know a lot about peacocks. I think I have an idea. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Come on. Hey, everyone. I drew a new picture. Want to see it? I've lost it. Yeah, see it. You bet. It's a peacock showing off his feathers. Cool. Wow. Awesome. I love it. That's how a peacock gets a peahen to notice him. Peahens are girl birds, and they like peacocks with bright feathers and lots of eye spots. Your picture is awesome, dude. You draw really good, Stanley. And you know so much about animals. You should be very proud of yourself, Stanley. I am. I'm proud as a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> picture, Dennis. I felt really good when everyone liked it. Yes, it was fun to share it with everyone, wasn't it? Yeah, and then Lester taught me to giggle hiccup. <laughs> I'd like to hear that. <laughs> good one, Stanley. And now, if you'll indulge me, there's something I'd like to share, too. Sure, Dennis. What is it? A very talented best friend named Stanley. Thanks, Dennis. Can we have some quiet here? I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. Good night, peacock boy Stanley. Dances with flamingos. Okay, ready or not, here I come. Yippee! Stanley. We're playing frog, and you're supposed to do something froggy every time you jump. Remember? Oh, yeah. I forgot that part. Let me try it again. Ruben, Ruben. Cool. You really sounded like a frog that time. Now it's my turn. Let me think what I can do. I got it. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, dear. Uh, Stanley, uh, Marcy, Lester, watch out! Oh. Oops. I'm really, really sorry, everybody. Are you all okay? I guess so. What's going on? I'm practicing ballet, and this is called the tutu. Is that because it's tutu puffy? Very funny. My ballet class is giving a performance this afternoon. And I get to play a beautiful pink flamingo. See my new ballet shoes? Yeah, she's been practically sleeping in them all week. I'm pretty much all set, except for one thing. I still have to practice my arabesque in passe. You're which and you're what? I think those are things you do in ballet, right, Mimi? Uh-huh. Wanna see? An arabesque is when you stand on one leg like this. You stick your other leg out behind, see? What was that other thing you said? A passe is when you stand on one leg like this and point your toes on your other foot and sweep it around. Wow, you're really good. So why do you need to practice? Because you're not supposed to be holding on to anyone while you're doing it. <laughs> so all you have to do is stand on one leg? I bet I can do that. Me too. I don't know. It's not that easy. What do you think? Can you stand on one leg while I count to five? Before you try, make sure you're standing in an open space away from furniture. Okay, so let's try it. Here we go. Everybody stand on one leg. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. See, what did I tell you? You're right. That was really hard. So what's so great about standing on one leg anyway? It'll be a lot more fun if you just play frog with us. But I have to practice. 
If I don't, I'm going to fall over. So what I have to do is practice and practice until I can finally stand on one... Whoa! Ah! Sorry, Dennis. Oh, don't worry, Mimi. I'll bet you'll be standing on one leg in no time. Just like a beautiful flamingo. I thought flamingos only had one leg. It looks that way because they always stand on one leg and keep the other one curled up. I think. Hey, maybe a flamingo can teach you how to do that, Mimi. Cool. All we have to do is look up flamingo in the... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not so loud. You know what happens whenever you mention that you know what. Do you know which? You know. The great big book of everything. <laughs> oh, no. Me and my big mouth. I suppose it beats row, row, row your boat. Did someone say row, row, row your boat? Well, I guess we could sing that too. Ready, Harry? Row, 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 row your, your boat, boat gently down the stream. No, Make please, forget I said anything. Okay, well, let me see. A, B, C, D, E, F. F is for flamingo. Wow, just look at them. They're beautiful. Five, four. Wow! Smell the air, everybody. It's all warm and salty, just like the beach. Wow! Flamingos sure are big. They're almost as tall as we are. That's true. Although some kinds are bigger than others. These flamingos are from Eastern Africa. No wonder they're all so thirsty. It's really hot down here. Actually, they're not drinking. They're eating. The flamingo scoops up water and strains tiny insects, mollusks and sea plants through its beak. But isn't the water really salty like beach water? It is indeed. So a flamingo gets rid of the salt in a special way. The salt comes back out through its nose. That happened to me once. Remember the time I laughed so hard all that milk came out my nose? Look at these baby flamingos. They're kind of cute. But they're funny looking too. What's wrong with them? Yeah, why aren't they all pink like their parents? That's a very interesting question. Did you know the flamingo gets its color from the food it eats? They do? But how? When flamingos are hatched, they're grayish white. But their food has tiny amounts of red coloring in it. Since it's all they eat, after a while it turns their feathers pink too. Wow, what if we could do that? I'd probably be green. Cause I like pickles so much. And you'd be all purple. Cause you eat so much grape jelly. Mm, my favorite. What about you? What color would you turn? Look, they're all standing on one leg. I still think it's because they only have one leg. Well, maybe you should take a look through the stanoscope. He's right. You can really see animals up close with it. Thanks, Stanley. Hey, he's got one leg curled way up underneath. One reason is that it helps it keep warm. The same way you wrap your arms around yourself when you're cold. I can't believe they stand so still. From over here, they almost look like pink trees. Very good, Barcy. As a matter of fact, that's another reason why flamingos stand on one leg. It makes them look like a tree. And that fools the small fish they're hunting. Cool. That's really interesting. Only, I don't need to turn pink or stay warm or catch any fish. I just need to figure out how to stand on one leg. Hey, wait a second, everyone. Doesn't it look like some of the flamingos are dancing? Yeah, but I don't hear any music. I think all that dancing has to do with the way flamingos get along with each other. Really? 
So do you think one of those dances could maybe help you stand on one leg, Mimi? We might as well try. Come on, first let's try the head stretch. How about you? Do you think doing the flamingo dance will help you stand on one foot? Just make sure you're standing away from furniture and give it a try. Now let's try standing on one leg. It's no use. What if we try that other dance thing instead? Turn your head around and pretend you're preening your tail feathers. Come on, try this other flamingo move too. This is fun. I feel like a real flamingo. Whoa! <laughs> okay, now let's try to stand on one leg. Whoa! Good. That makes it even harder. Wait, everyone. Look what that one's doing. Wow. Maybe we should try spreading out our arms like the flamingo spreads its wings. Do you think spreading out your arms would help you stand on one leg? Just open your arms wide like flamingo wings and see if you can stand on one leg for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five! Yippee! Yay! Wow, I get it. You need balance to stand on one leg. Yeah, like you need balance to ride a bike or, or walk a straight line. Look at me, I can do an arabesque. Me too. Now that I know how to do it, ballet is kind of fun. I have an idea. Instead of frog, why don't we play ballet frog? Ballet frog? Yeah. Sounds good. Let's go. Ribbit, ribbit, watch me. I'm doing an arabesque. Ribbit, ribbit. And I'm going to do a whatever you call it. <laughs> My turn! <laughs> ribbit! Ribbit! <laughs> Remember, Mimi, keep your balance like a flamingo. Aren't you scared we're gonna fall? Not if we spread our arms out wide. Like they were wings. Hey, Dennis, did you know that flamingos knew how to dance like that? I certainly didn't. And they look quite lovely doing it. I'm glad those flamingos taught Mimi and the rest of us how to stand on one foot. And that's not all they taught us. Today we learned that flamingos strain their food out of water. Then they turn pink from their diet. And we learned that if you hold your arms out like a flamingo sticks out its wings, it helps your balance so you can stand on one leg. Yes. Now, if I only had any legs to stand on, I'd be all set. <laughs> Good night, Dennis. Good night, Flamingo Boy Stanley. Stay tuned for Guess How Much I Love You, coming up on Disney Junior.